helmet, protective gloves and a jacket designed to withstand extreme heat. Simon puts on this uniform every single day, but in just over a couple of weeks' time, he'll be all kitted up, ready to tackle a different type of challenge. What I'm going to do is attempt to do the Birmingham 10K run uh, in full fire kit with breathing apparatus, uh, minus the boots. So I'm going to actually use uh, running, proper running trainers because that would be a little bit painful. Every year, thousands of people take to Birmingham streets to participate in this race. Each individual has their own personal story to help drive them around the course. And Simon is no different. The reason I'm doing this uh, is to raise money for the British Lung Foundation. Uh, and the reason I chose the Birmingham 10K uh, was unfortunately my mother passed away um, on Valentine's Day this year. and. On May the 1st, which is the Birmingham 10K run, that would have been her 70, 73rd birthday. So it's going to be quite emotional on the day, but as long as I can try and keep focused uh, and try and raise as much money as possible, then they'll be happy to answer. In 16 days' time, Simon will be gearing up for the big event. He's hoping he can get round in about an hour and 10 minutes. But for this firefighter, Broad Street isn't his only finish line. Well, for this one will be the first one. Uh, and then at the end of my uh, bank holiday weekend, I'll be competing in the Edinburgh Marathon. Uh, and I'll possibly be doing that one in fire kit as well. So I'm trying to raise a bit more money. The week after, I'll be doing this Sutton Fun run known as the Great Midland Run, uh, and I'll be running that with my lad, who will be supporting me. Um, and then in October, I'll be attempting to do the um, Birmingham Half Marathon, possibly in fire kit again. <laughs> Depends how my feet hold up. <laughs> it's clear from speaking to the firefighter that his chosen charity means a lot to him. In fact, the Birmingham 10K run isn't just symbolic, but an opportunity for him to give something back. My mum, um, she's been, well, she was diagnosed with uh, COPD um, and the last six months before she passed away, she really struggled with the breathing um, and hence why the, the British Lung Foundation um, is close to my heart at the moment to actually raise money and do something for others. Um, as I said before, it's, it's, it's going to be emotional um, and it, it's, it's going to be hard work, but um, if she's up there looking down at me, brilliant, and she can see the fantastic work that I'll, I'll be doing with the backing of the Westminster Fire Service. Having surpassed his £300 fundraising target, Simon's already achieved his first goal. The second now awaits him on May the 1st. This is Roshni Patel for Big News in Blockswitch.